Where is it? Welcome back, family. Welcome back to Nala's journey, guys. This is Nala, and I'm taking you guys grocery shopping today, guys. Got to get some things for that Christmas dinner that I'm preparing for the family. So I've got to organize all the things that I need for my menu. So, guys, while I'm grocery shopping, I'm going to show you the prices that I pay for food here in Georgia in the USA. Please drop me some comments. What are the prices that you're paying for food wherever you live in the world, US or internationally? Drop me some comments, guys. What do you pay for food for various items where you live? Drop me some comments, guys. I'd like to know, because I think food here in the US, here in Georgia, is very expensive. This is where I'm at, guys. All right, I'm taking you to this international market, guys. Prices are kind of high for certain things. So I want you to compare these prices to wherever you live in the world, whether it's in the U.S., whether it's internationally. Drop me some comments, guys. Let me know. How are you feeling today? I'd like to know. Inquiring minds want to know, guys. Drop me some comments, please. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Please join the family. This is Nala. Enjoy the content. Well, family, you will be able to see with your own two eyes. You will be able to see clearly how expensive food is here in America. Guys, I think the prices are so high. And that's to me in whatever state you live in the U.S. right now. I think the price, the price for food or the prices for food is just too high. I think so. Well, guys, see for yourself, okay? I'm going to walk around the supermarket and I'm going to video various food items and you'll see the prices for yourself. Guys, you're going to see that I'm not exaggerating about the price for food being so high here in the U.S. You'll also see for yourself that certain food items, you know, lacks quality. It lacks freshness. You're going to see that also in this video. So please watch the video to the end. Please like, share, subscribe, and also turn on your notification bell. I'd appreciate that. This is Nala. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the content. Notice that these fruits and vegetables, some of them look okay. But others look kind of sketchy. And that's just the fruits and vegetables. And then I go on to looking at the, you know, the provision, things like yams and potatoes and, and, and something that's called dasheen. Uh, these items are, I mean, I think they're robbing us. I think they're robbing me. There are certain things I'm not just going to buy. I'm just not going to buy, guys. I'm not. Because I could see how stale it is. I could see that it's been sitting there for a while. And I'm just not going to buy certain things. You know, I look at, you know, things like sweet potatoes, the Caribbean sweet potato, and I can see, okay, no, you know, this is, this looks like it's on the rotten side. You know, it really shouldn't even be on the shelf for sale, but that's how some of these supermarkets are here in the U.S., guys. They'll put it out and then you'll also see signs that, oh, the sale on these items is final. So that means when you get it home and you cut into it and you see that it's actually halfway bad, you can't, you can't bring it back and get back your money. That's how this particular market works. Okay. This is the international market. Uh, they've got international food items. So people from around the world would come here, you know, uh, and, and buy their, you know, buy these items. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, I'm just not happy with some of the quality of these food items. You know, something like cassava, cassava. Why does this cassava look at some of these videos, guys, the cassava has wax on it. That's how they try to preserve it. You know, that's how they try to preserve it. You know, it just makes me so mad, you know, that I'm not somewhere in another country where I can actually pick from the ground some of the food items that I like, like cassava. 
You know, I'm tired of going into a supermarket and seeing cassava with wax on it. I'm sick, sick, and tired of it, guys. I am looking at this video, guys. Look at all these items. The prices are high. The quality is not what it should be. You know, I'm just not happy in, in many respects. I'm just not happy with the food, the quality, as well as the prices. Look at, look for yourself, guys. Check out these videos. Now, let's talk also about the meat. Now, I came here specifically about, uh, specifically to buy oxtail beef. That's what I came in here to buy. Notice that there, there isn't much in my cart. My cart is, my, my shopping cart is not full today. Okay. I came in here to buy oxtail. And look at the price of oxtail. Keep looking at the video, guys. It's in here. You'll see for yourself, guys. Oxtail is, is quite pricey. When you see the price for oxtail in this video, drop that price in the comments. I want you to see for yourself. So, guys, as you're looking at this video, please compare the prices to where you live. Drop in the comments, what would some of these items cost you where you live? For example, what's the price of oxtail where you live? Now, here's the thing about oxtail, which is beef. It comes from a cow. In certain countries, you can buy a whole cow for X amount. Drop me a comment. Where you live, can you buy a whole cow? If you can, what would that whole cow cost? Drop me a comment on that. Because I think this oxtail here, these packages that I'm buying, I'm only buying two packages, okay? But I think the price is very high. On This is just the oxtail. I'm not buying the whole cow, but the price is so high, guys. It is, guys. It is. Take a look, guys. Listen. You know, I'm not happy, but I'm being very, very about what I'm, you know, what I'm not happy about. The prices, the quality, the lack of just, hmm, I get to vent on this video because we all need to buy food on a weekly basis. And I've got to look at this poor quality in some of these items every week. But yet the prices seem to get higher and higher every week, guys. Is this happening where you live? Have you noticed, are the food prices getting higher and higher? And sometimes is the quality getting lower and lower? Are you experiencing, experiencing that where you live? Drop me a comment, please, guys. Let me know. I want to know, am I the only one frustrated out here about the food prices and the food quality? Drop me some comments on this topic, guys. Listen, we're, we're Christmas shopping. We're food shopping for Christmas, for the menu. Many, many people are doing it. Thousands, millions. Millions of people around the world is grocery shopping this week, preparing for Christmas. Let me know what's on your Christmas list in terms of food shopping. Drop me a comment. What, what do you anticipate spending this week in terms of food? Well, I'll tell you this. The things that I'm buying today in this particular market will probably cost me about a hundred U.S. dollars. What are you anticipating spending this week in terms of preparing for your Christmas dinner? Drop me a comment on that. Let's just compare notes. And yes, guys, I'm not getting everything I need from this particular market. I've got to go to at least at least one or two other stores to get other things that I need. So this is just the first hundred dollars, U.S. dollars towards food. I'm anticipating spending at least two hundred dollars more before the week. And, okay, I am. I'm anticipating that. Guys, listen, I hope this video was helpful, okay? I hope it opened up your eyes in terms of the food prices here in the United States. I hope it did. This is Georgia prices. Georgia prices for food. Guys, I hope this content was helpful. I hope it was. I hope you guys have a merry, merry Christmas. Listen, I hope you do. This is Nala. I'll see you guys in the next one.